everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Off Grid Earth Prospecting. It's a beautiful morning. It's been it's a little bit cloudy. It's been pretty still. I've come into an area that's brand new and uh, it's a spot it's a spot that looks that like not many people would come to or have been on <clears throat> there's not any fresh sign it's a difficult sort of area to get to there's not you have to get drive a fair way walk in a bit and i've come onto it and it looks absolutely incredible i've got to say the slope's fairly flat the ground's shallow there's heaps of gravel and the anticipation's been very high I've walked up an area of mullocks here where they've followed a lead off the main creek, a shallow lead. And I've got this sense of anticipation about, you know, something's going to have to come out here. This is just too good. And then I, then I see the, uh, the cut sticks and stacked up area where someone's, you know, cleaned an area. Doesn't look like the cuts are that old, maybe maybe in the last three, four, five years, um, piled the sticks up and obviously detected the area. Otherwise, I, I felt as though I would have been pinging stuff all over these mullets. Anyway, so that being said, there's very few areas where you can get to that actually have had nobody on it. I mean, it would be extremely rare for you to be able to find a spot like that now. Um, it's still possible, but when you're in the GPAs, um, people have pushed in everywhere and there's been waves of prospectors over many years. Anyway, all that said, if you've got a seven and if you go slow and you listen and you're in a good area, you can scratch things out. So this was a barely discernible target on surface. It sounded simply like a hot rock. Scratched it with my foot. Persistent, persistent bit of, of niggle wasn't happy with it just kept scratching and then I've taken one scratch now with the uh, with the pick and this is the sound so you can hear that little flick there and that to me sounds it sounds a bit more sounds to be a bit more than a hot rock. It sounds like it's opening up into a little target. So I thought we'd film this and see how we go. I'd love to just let you hear them from the top. You know, what it sounds like before we get to that point because it's already a couple of inches off there and you can see how faint that target is. It's just that it's so hard to, you'd have to film everything to show you what it sounds like at the very start. One of these days we might get that. Anyway, let's have a bit more of a scratch. Let's see. How yeah, this opens up. Sounds excellent. Sounds excellent. Loving that. As prospectors, well, personally, I just love this. I've been out here a number of weeks now and 
found a lot of gold. You keep longing for that, you know, that remote, deep target that you know is going to be gold. And this, no doubt, will be gold. How, do, how big it is, we'll find out. But, you know, I just love it. I just love coming out and finding a piece of treasure in the ground that no one's ever seen before. I'm having to use the skills that you've accrued over the years to be able to make it happen. All right, that's right down in the gravel there. Heaps of, oh, I think I just saw it. I think I just saw it come out of the hole. Or was I just, was it just an optical illusion? No. Okay, it appears to be just here somewhere. I don't think it's massive. Again, testament, just a testament to the Z power. There we go. All right, sounds really nice. Beautiful little piece of gold. And that's probably, oh, well, that's eight inches at least deep to where my finger is, from my finger there to my finger there. For this size piece of gold, it takes a, it takes a machine as powerful as the Z and it takes the ability to hear it, it takes a steel face booster, takes all those things to pull that piece of gold out. Um, but when it comes together, it's really, really awesome. And I haven't done anything here really. I, I could spend all day just in this little area and um, hopefully scratch out a few more, but there's a whole amazing creek to walk and uh, I'll probably be tempted to, to swing down that for a K or so. Um, let's see if we can uh, make sure we get our close up. Probably about oh, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, something like that. So, successful start to the day. More than happy with that. And uh, let's see what else we can get to pay up around here. Look at this uh, cutout on the outside of the bank here. So, water comes around. And it's just cutting this gravel bed out. But you can see the schist layer there. You know, the, the layer of... Uh, Gravel and topsoil is only oh, pretty small, really, so it's pretty good shallow ground. Deepens out here a little bit more <clears throat> to a couple of feet, but then it's you know it's rocked in, it's rocked down in this side here. So this uh, undulating 
sort of very shallow fall in just gravel sides but the anticipation is constantly high for uh, finding a nugget somewhere around here and I think that's a detector hole mm, interesting okay coming down the nice uh, nice creek here fairly remote it's had people on it a long time ago and I can see someone that's been here very recently but it doesn't seem to be overly active it's a fair way in on the GPAs and uh, but look at this right here someone's been here since the last rain which was only not that long ago dug a hole maybe got a bit of gold who knows right here like half a meter away Look at that, look at that nice little bit. Beauty. Right there, so obviously someone's not been very thorough. That shouldn't have been my target. <laughs>